My name is Dave Brown, product manager of End Mills and GM300 tool holders at Goering, and we're going to demonstrate the Goering HPC milling chuck and the pin lock system. This is the anti pull out system that will guarantee the end mill will not pull out of the tool holder. First, we want to take the clamping sleeve, the pin lock clamping sleeve, and back out the axial link setting screw. Have it stick out about a quarter of an inch off the end of the clamping sleeve. Then we take our end mill and we insert the end mill with the weld and flat. This is a standard weld and flat into the clamping sleeve where we see the cross hole where the dowel pin is going to go. We insert the end mill oriented like so and then we take the dowel pin and insert it in this cross hole. Press it in as far as you can with your thumb and then using the pin punch that comes with the kit simply push it till it bottoms out. This is a counterboard hole so it can't press all the way through. Now we have to take the the play out of the end mill. We can see that there's play in there right now for that pin is hitting the back of the weld and flat. We take the torque wrench that comes with the HPC kit or pin lock kit and we tighten the axial link setting screw to one newton one newton meter. It's very light torque. It's an audible torque uh, click type wrench and now there's no play in the clamp sleeve and end mill. This end mill cannot pull out of this clamping sleeve. The next thing we do is insert it into the HPC milling chuck and tighten it down by hand and then we can take an optional torque wrench that's set to 12 newton meters and this is an audible type torque wrench where you tighten it until you hear the click. Okay, that's tight, that's 12 newton meters, and that end mill cannot pull out of this tool holder. You can take Extremely aggressive cuts with the confidence the, the end mill cannot pull out. Now to reverse the process, the end mill needs to be changed. It's worn, we simply loosen the clamping sleeve. <clears throat> and then unscrew the clamping sleeve and end mill from the tool holder. Take tension off the axial link setting screw, just back it off about a turn. And now we can take our punch and insert it in the cross hole and push our dowel pin out. Dowel pin comes out, end mill comes out, and we're ready to put the new end mill in. This is one of the simplest designs on the market. It uses standard weld and flat end mills and a simple dowel pin and this HPC pinlock clamping sleeve. 